morning traders welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from privateer FX uh, last night we had during the uh, during the Asian session the Australian tra trade data was quite weak and Aussie dollar uh, responded in kind and we can take a look here and see uh, see where we are you know bigger picture but this currency which I've been becoming more and more bearish of um, looks like it's broken down through these old lows at 75.30. We do have some Fibonacci support here for this last big swing that comes in uh, right around 75, the figure. And then below there, some old lows on the 73.70 and back down to this old low. I, I still think that we have a good chance of this coming down into last year's close at 72 level by... Uh, by the end of December. Remember the seasonality for Aussie is uh, generally very weak and uh, you've got things like gold and iron ore and copper. A lot of these uh, metals are under pressure. I think that uh, we can get a, another leg down. Um, uh, dollar yen, uh, dollar yen chart caught a really strong bid here today. Uh, let's pop over this gold chart I was looking at earlier uh, before we started. Here's gold. We've taken out these old important lows at 1262. This thing has come on just unglued. It's almost like they're selling gold and buying Bitcoin. And we'll, we will look at the Bitcoin chart again a little bit later. But uh, we are taking out some big support levels. You know, this thing has got, uh, let's see where we are in the FIB world. Back from the July low, where we had a big run up to those highs and sept. Uh, we're through the two thirds on these old lows, 62, 64 area. Next FIB, it looks like this uh, 1238. And uh, I don't see why I can't go there tomorrow. In fact, the way it's been moving. As far as the, uh, New York morning cable was not a lot of fun. Let's get into the uh, let's just get into this 15 minute chart and you can take a look and see how uh, see some of this price action. So there was a headline that came out uh, stating that May was was promising new text on the Irish border and the DUP said they will go to London when there's something to agree upon. Barnier then was saying that uh, EU's Barnier was saying the UK has 48 hours to agree on a deal. Um, this was all this morning. Um, so you did see some, you saw there were a couple maybe negative headlines initially here, uh, early, early New York. And uh, we see this, we saw the sell off. And we have. Uh, we see this bottom here at 133.20. Sorry about that. Uh, so we did we did make a low at 133.20. Then there then there was some positive news flow, and again this you know this this currency has just been an absolute nightmare. I mean take a look at this bar here. Positive news flow here from 134.26, got up to 85, straight down to, back down to 134.22, and then uh, was grinding higher, and, and, and things have, uh, things have definitely taken a turn for the better. There is a press conference in uh, uh, 650 GMT. Uh, I believe it's Juncker is going to be speaking. So, you know, all the news flow the past few hours has been positive. It looks like they're going to get something done on this Irish border. Anyhow, this uh, trying to trade cable is, you know, is a mugs game. We do have some highs here uh, at 85. Let's take a look at the fib swing. 135, the figure is my three quarter fibo from this last this last swing. And then 135.50 is those old highs. So if we if we do get an agreement and uh, and May is heading over to Europe in the morning, which it sounds like she will be, 
Um, I don't see why we can't go test this 135.50, these old highs. Um, and it has a, had a nice run up the la, you know, this, this last day. Uh, take a look at the daily. Um, let's go to uh, take a look at our reversal page here. British pound right here, lower low, higher high, higher close. That is what we call a bullish engulfing or a an outside reversal higher day. Again, no reason we can't go back to this these two old daily highs. And, you know, maybe even up to here. Well, there's a lot of targets up here. This 136 handle. Um, so expect some fireworks here, kind of late Asia, very early uh, London in the pound. Uh, Australian dollar, we looked at that old low, we broke that old low, I think that's lower. Euro continues to grind lower. Um, if we take a look at the Euro sterling chart, it broke today, very clean break of the 200 day moving average. We've pierced it a few times, closed above it, and uh, you know, kind of closed on it a couple times. But this is a clean break, so Euro sterling's got, got room, it's going to retrace about halfway back down to that old low at 83. So see that back to like the 85.50 area. Uh, you know, U.S. 10-year yields were higher today. Gold was lower. This is all, you know, um, probably the main reason why dollar yen had such a strong day, as you can see here on this chart. Yeah, that's a pretty big up day. Uh, there seem to be a lot of bids down here around this 112 figure 20 area. So Keep an eye on this, 113, uh, 113.26, we're, we're trading just below that now, is the uh, is the FIBO that we were looking at. Let me just pop this up. Here it is, 113.25 is the, uh, the three-quarter FIBO of the recent swing. Uh, as far as data goes, there's not much out in uh in during the european session german trade balance uh we do have manufacturing production industrial production out of uh, the uk which uh you know can be market moving and then it, it really everyone's just waiting for the non-farm payrolls we're expected the whisper number I've, i read is about two two hundred twenty thousand, and uh the, the consensus on bloomberg was about 195. Um, we are looking at those average hourly earnings I think that's more important. Uh, the market's expecting plus 0.3. So with the dollar here on the highs, if we do get a, a weaker, even like a 0.1 weaker average hourly earnings, like a, so it comes out as 0.2, I think you'll see some profit taking because the dollar's had a pretty nice run this week and uh, is vulnerable. You know, it looks like the market's going to go into uh, this jobs number out of the U.S. Uh, long some dollars. So that should do it. Uh, look out for us on the uh, European Open and North American Open, and uh, next time you hear from me will be uh, on uh, Monday morning your time for a uh, week ahead outlook. Good luck.